Hello and welcome to the technical presentation of the project Ruya. As an attempt to familiarize myself with dynamic simulations within Houdini, it soon became obvious the time required to produce such project would get a stretch. Plus, variety of techniques had to be learned and developed to overcome some challenges which I'd like to get into in the following sections. Having a rough idea about the events taking place in the shot, I kick-started drawing a simple bent curve. Thanks to a technique shared by the amazing technical artist Alice Furi, a series of edits were made to the same curve and all of them merged together at the end to create a nerve's skin surface. Finally, a carved node with its first V parameter animated to scan through it, resulting in an organic and smooth motion that's procedural and quite controllable. The motion then was mixed with some more manually animated layers, such as rolling effect off the stem. To achieve that, a straight curve along the axis which is deformed by an animated bend node was created. And finally, path deformed by our hero curve. Vellum simulation was utilized to add some touch of realism to the existing stem animation. Also, the curve had to be resampled in a non-uniform fashion in order to control the distribution of the pedals. And for that, a simple vex to interpolate the point positions based off a ramp curve attributes and prim functions proved to be effective there. The curve then was equipped with KineFX rigging attributes, plus a simulation pre-roll could be easily generated by the skeleton blend node, morphing between the rest pose to the first frame of the action visible on the screen. Next, a series of curves were drawn to create a proxy nerves patch to drive the rendered geometries of the pedals. It proved to be beneficial saving time at simulation stage. From there, I could model the pedal geometries using procedural as well as more classical techniques such as sculpting and ZBrush. Layers of geometries were added as I went along with handful of trial and errors, of course. The tip of the stem presented a challenge to overcome. The simulation behaved right only up until the point it settled down. So I managed to use KineFX to blend the simulation with the poses created for corrections afterwards, having the best of both worlds. The egg was started with but a single point, animated manually and layered with procedural noises for a more natural and organic motion. For the burst effect, the flying creature was used as a collider to tear apart the vellum egg at that particular moment. For the flying creature again, I like to start animating with a bunch of curves representing the skeleton of it. Getting the proportions as well as the principles of animation and lines of actions right before committing to any final mesh, since the sculpted geometry could be deformed via a KineFX toolset. And lastly, additional growing stems were procedurally modeled and simulated on the wings. The ground burst effect at the beginning was handled by vellum grains. Multiple forces and advections were utilized to drive the flow of the simulation, giving it that underwater look I was aiming for. And lastly, renders were handled using Arnold Render, each frame taking around 20 to 90 minutes to finish. And texturing was achieved by Substance Designer and Arnold Procedural Utilities. Thanks for watching.